everyone's going to do 60 on that street, so let's put the speed limit at 50. Everyone's going to do 100 on that street, so let's put the speed limit at 80. So it's almost as if they're just sort of preempting the fact that you are going to speed anyway, so we're going to bring down the speed limit. Um, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. So we've touched on this a little bit, but I'm going to ask and see if you have anything else to add to it. So would being regularly exposed to visible cameras influence your attitudes towards speeding or mobile phone use? And would it influence your decision to speed or use a mobile phone while driving? I would say yes. Yeah. How regularly... Yeah, I... Sorry. Sorry. You go, Michelle. Uh, I was just going to ask how regularly do you think you need to be exposed um, for it to be an influence? Oh, look, how much is, is muchness? Uh, once a fortnight, could you start doing it on a daily basis and in an hourly basis, that's when everyone's going to switch off to. Yeah. So probably once a fortnight, I don't know the medium that they're going to use to communicate with us, but I don't know, different people are very different. Someone wants to be reminded every day. They forget what happened in the last five minutes. They're not going to remember anything for a fortnight kind of thing, right? So it's going to be really hard to work out the, the appropriate frequency, but... Just, I think, regular regular means, you know, every once in a while, they'll say that. Like on the radio when you're driving, they'll say, oh, you know, guys, double demerits are in force. So the amount of times that they tell you about that, if they start doing that with the other stuff, like, I don't see why people's behavior is not going to change. Yeah. So if you were caught for speeding or mobile phone use, which of the two types of cameras is likely to make more of a difference to your driving? Phone use. Or oh, um, like the cameras as in, um, oh yeah, I think that's what they mean. And also like the, um, would, would it be fixed or would it be hidden cameras? Uh, no fixed, please. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we've talked about the hidden stuff, not sort of yeah. uh, striking the right chord with <laughs> the public. Great. All right. Um. Yeah, I mean, that's a difficult one to answer, actually, Michelle. Um, but once again, I'll try and just take it literally in, in, in the context of the question, and I would probably say the hidden. Yeah. Um, uh, simply, you know, for the fact that um, yeah, it, it was hidden. I wasn't expecting it. Um, and so if I kept getting hit by hidden cameras, you know, then um, ultimately I'd be going, oh, crap, I, I, I just simply cannot speed. I can't afford to speed yeah. any longer. So, um, yeah, that would be probably the difference for me there. Yeah, great. If 100 cameras were to be implemented, what do you think the split should be for hidden versus visible cameras? In the context, again, of promoting safety on the roads and more of changing behaviours, I reckon 100% visible. Yeah. And once again, changing the perception of it's a cash grab versus actual road safety. Yeah, yeah 100 cameras would be visible. Yeah. No, but didn't we just say, didn't we just say that the hidden camera is going to be more effective in changing your behavior because you're going to realize that you keep doing the same thing over and over again and you just don't know where you're going to get caught out? Yeah, good point, mate. Um, and as I said, that's why I had to take it in the context of the question. But uh, ultimately, I'm, I'm speaking on my behalf. Um, that's that's what it would be. Um, in the context of that, and, and simply for the fact that um, you know, I don't speed a hell of a lot of the time. I don't, I don't, and if I do speed, it's not a hell of a lot over the the, um, the speed limit. So I, I just have to put it in that context and just go, <laughs> yeah. If I got hit by, kept getting hit by hidden cameras, I'd be going, oh, stuff it, and I, you know, have to start driving at five k's below the speed limit. Absolutely. Simply do that. <laughs> yeah. So, but you know, it's it's. As we're all talking about here, it's a lot more complex question to be asking, you know, in terms of, um, 
you know, well, what are we trying to achieve with the hidden cameras versus um, the, you know, the visible cameras, ultimately? I totally agree, and I think there's also a conflict of interest in that I don't want to see hidden cameras, but the fact that they're hidden... They're not really hidden. You you don't see them until you're about 50 meters away from them and you're already sort of over the speed limit. But I do want to go on record to say that if you really sort of really want to drive the point home for people that are speeding, that speeding is not good. Um, and you can put a spin on it that basically says this is all about road safety, guys, and about changing human behavior the hidden cameras are going to do a better job than the visible cameras, guaranteed. Because if I know a visible camera is coming up, I'll adjust my speed in that area and then go back up, as one of the gentlemen was uh, was saying earlier on. It hasn't changed my behavior. It has basically allowed me to mitigate my speeding behavior, knowing that there's something coming up. Now, that hasn't changed my perception of speeding. Uh, I, I, I still don't think it's dangerous. Whereas with hidden cameras, I know if I turn the corner and I'm two k's over, I could be done. So what that's going to do is instill a fear in me. And the fear of the fine, I call it. Right? So I think hidden cameras are going to be much more effective. However, they're going to piss a lot more people off as well at the same time. Yeah. Uh, and it's going to be hard to put that spin on it to say it's all about road safety, etc. Great. So other than visible signs, how else could you find out about the location of speed or mobile phone cameras? Cameras for vibes. What was that, sorry? Um, the website, cameras for vibes. I don't know if that's, if that's a national website or a state, state run website, but it tells you all the speed camera locations. Oh, okay. Text. I haven't heard of that one. Yeah. There are apps that you can contribute to. You come across a, a mobile camera or a cop, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. There are the old methods of uh, alerting other drivers uh, that are heading towards uh, a cop or an unmarked vehicle that is that's got a mobile camera on uh, on it, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but um, the, nowadays, there's, there's, there's actually Facebook groups that actually tell you where these cameras are, etc. Um, and they do a good job of keeping that information up to date as well. Yeah. Great. It's interesting, I know that um, the uh, navigation app that I use um, will pick up a lot of a lot of the speed cameras. Especially if you know if I'm driving down to Brisbane or, or areas like that. It'll highlight them. Yeah. So. Do you think that visible um, and hidden camera locations should be posted on the government website? Well, if they're hidden, Michelle, um, and they're posted, uh, what are we? What are we saying? <laughs> With, oh, I'm just a bit confused. Right. So. Visible camera locations, it's only a matter of time that it's going to end up in on, on a website that someone's going to start. But with hidden ones, I don't I don't really know what the question is, I think. But I, that one... I think it's just making it public knowledge if you want to, to go on, if it changes every day, if it's public knowledge. Um, um, I think that's how I interpret it. I haven't okay. had anyone ask about it, so I'm sorry. <laughs> Why can't we just change the word hidden to visible? And then the question goes away because it's not hidden if it's on the... On, on, again, it's the intent behind what it is that they're trying to do, right? Yeah. Is it a cash grab? Yeah, well, in that case, they're hidden. But is it trying to help you with road safety? Not really. Okay, so then, yeah. No, that's a, that's a great point, yeah. Uh, what type of group or person would be most influenced by the speed or uh, mobile phone cameras? And what are their characteristics? I think that for phone cameras, I'm in my late 20s and I think that probably heavy users of new applications like TikTok where you're always required to put on content. Maybe you are driving and I can just see someone 
younger than me because 